Okay, you guys, I'm back with another one. Um, this vision I also had on May 25th, 2022. This vision I saw a head with locks, um, a, which was a guy getting his locks twisted. Um, and when I sat before God and I, um, you know, asked for the meaning of this vision, um, this is what I got. And first, before I go into that, I'm just going to um, touch on, you know, the meaning behind locks. So apparently there's a me there's a spiritual meaning behind locks. But history back then, um, for those that were against it, and I want to say that um, this is not what I think of locks before I say this so I don't offend anybody, but um, history shows that back then they believed locks to be dirty um unkempt and in what they would call dreadful um and and that's uh i believe how the name dreadlocks came about but you know we don't call it that because we know the history behind that but um this is the vision that i saw was of a guy with locks and it was like he was getting them twisted retwisted or something um and this vision was just used to to get across the message what you know god is saying so being that locks are well they were seen i don't view it like this but the history behind it i'm just trying to help you understand how i got the the understanding of this that they were believed to be unkempt and dirty okay so what this vision is saying is to cry out um you know to cry out to rebuke the unclean spirits that are in in the churches um so people can be healed and delivered because apparently you know there are some not all churches, but there are some churches who, you know, deliverance is not taking place in, in these, in these churches. Um, and it's because they're not really teaching on those things in these churches, um, or allowing people to operate in the gifts that God has given them, um, you know, after being baptized. You know, some people were called to help deliver, um, especially when it comes to things like unclean spirits. But if you're not allowing the people in the church to do what it is that the Lord has has um, bestowed upon them, as far as their 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 gift. Um, their measure of grace that has been given to them, then those who are suffering and struggling with unclean spirits that need to be delivered, that need deliverance, they're not being delivered. And so it's time to rebuke those who um, rebuke those unclean spirits in, in people that are, are in these churches. Um, so that they so they can be delivered and begin to be healed. And the scripture I was led to with this was Mark chapter one, verse twenty one through twenty eight. Twenty one says, and they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. It says, and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commandeth he 
even the cl he, even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. And so, um, yeah, the Lord is saying to, when it comes to the churches, those who have the gifts, who are able to do these things, to, it's time to rebuke the unclean spirits in the church um, so that people can be healed and delivered because a lot of people are going to church but a lot of people are not being delivered from things that are plaguing them um from spirits that are you know plaguing them and strongholds that are plaguing them and you know it's time to put to use the gifts that god has given you um he's he gives us these gifts for a reason within the body of christ not to quench the spirit um, and, and, and those that are going to churches that are quenching the spirit, um, that are not allowing people to operate in their gifts, you're in error. And the church needs the gifts of the people. You know, we, the body of Christ is, is, is one body, but it's made up of many members. And those members have different gifts, spiritual gifts um according to the measure of grace that's been given to them and so this vision is saying to rebuke the unclean spirits that are in the church and i'll just leave it at that um so that these people can be healed and delivered and so i will see y'all again on the next video goodbye